Hello everyone and welcome back to my third and final installment about my experience with working with the Kiders case. Kadir's? Kadir's, I think. At the end of the last video, I apologize, it felt like kind of a tease because by the time I got to the end of the build, I realized that the power cable that I needed to get to the custom board to run all these fans was missing. So to finish off with my experience with the company, I did email them. Uh, they did message me back within the two business days that Newegg suggested. Um, and I told them that I bought this case four or five months ago. I was just getting ready to do my build now. Uh, and this piece was missing. And I asked them if they could send me a new one. And they were very polite when recommending that I go to the store and buy one myself. Obviously, that's not the answer that I wanted, and at this point, I didn't want to give them any more money, but I did it anyway because of the concept of sunk cost. I was already this far into the build, and I wasn't going to stand on principle to save an extra 20 bucks. I had to finish it, and here we are. Now, overall, as far as the case itself goes, to be fair, the build quality seems solid, the fans are doing their job, and when it comes to customize, you can do whatever you want with it. It has a full range of colors and even patterns and styles that you can switch through to get the look that you want. It was a little tight at times trying to get the power supply in there, and cable management is a pain, but that's true, at least for me, in any open concept case. So like I said, the case itself, not a bad case as long as everything comes intact and you get everything that you paid for. The problem that I have is with the company itself, and until they get their act together, I can't recommend buying the case. Now, what does getting their act together mean? To me, it means a couple things, and I'll share that with you. Now, first off, forgive me for the glare. I thought I was having a really hard dyslexic time with this name until I realized a day into my build that it actually wasn't me. If you look at the name on the top here, that's on the box. If you look at the name here, that's on the glass. It's spelled differently. So right off the bat, this company couldn't even get the name printed correctly on their shipping materials. Now, does the name on shipping materials affect the quality of the build of the company? No, it's an aesthetic thing, but it shows what we're about to lead into. So what I'm showing you here is the Kadir's Marketplace Seller Profile on Newegg, or at least it was five months ago when I bought the case. Technically, this doesn't exist anymore. The way I got here was going through my purchase history, selecting the computer, and then selecting the seller's profile through there. Some things to note are the name, Kadir's PC Marketplace Seller Profile, the icon, and most importantly, the rating. Now this is for the store overall, not the individual products. So if we scroll down, we see that there are 14 ratings on here with a positivity of 21%. You can see that over on the left. Over on the right is where that big breakdown comes in. Customer service, 25%. Product accuracy, 64%. On-time delivery even comes in at a whopping 71. And then you start getting into the comments. Received case with broken fans, never responded. My glass side panel came broken. Should have been packed better so it didn't arrive broken. Power button, didn't work. Glass panels, shattered. Didn't receive information about being shipped and arrived smashed. Came with two dead fans. Poor customer service, no help when sent to the wrong shipping address, cool case but not worth the money. So you can see lots of issues with the company, lots of issues with the quality of shipping. Now mind you, like I said, quality of the case for me, not a problem. It's metal, It no, there's no flex to it. Quality of the case for me seems fine. It had missing parts and they made me buy replacements. Now when it comes to the seller, Kadir's PC Marketplace seller profile, Instead of trying to right the wrongs of what they did, if you try to search for that product today, this is what you get on this window over here. Over here, you get a slightly refined icon and a different name, Kadir's-US-Shop Seller Profile. I would also like to add that the poorly worded description that they have here is exactly the same as the one that they have over here. They copied and pasted it. So now what they've done is from the presumably same sellers, because I imagine if the company was bought by someone else, they would not only maybe change the name a little bit, but update their description. All of the quote unquote old products, like the case that I have, have been discontinued 
and relisted on this new seller's page. So you, it is the same case, but you can't technically go back and see the reviews of the case that I bought and see the company reviews and ratings on the store that I bought. They basically said, oh, fresh start, here we go. We'll just wipe away our past, open up a new store with the same icon, but with, you know, but with a better format. And we'll even copy and paste our poorly worded descriptions of ourself. So now when you look at their new store, it's 100% positive with two ratings. Two ratings, which by the way, have zero reviews found. So who knows how accurate that even is. So we went from this to this with seemingly no repercussions. I don't like complaining this much, it's not my style, but what I like to see in companies that I buy from is transparency, and this is not it. Instead of having good and proper customer service, they just changed their name, changed their product listings, and started new. Will I give them another shot? I might. They had two variations of this case. Uh, if I remember correctly, $150 or $160 for the full fan version, which is what I paid. And then they had one that was $20 or $30 cheaper that didn't have the side fans here, which again are just for show. The glass panel, they don't move any air. I look at their store now and it looks like they just have the seven fan model and they're bringing it in a lower price point. They have additional fan kits, controller kits, which is what I ended up buying, uh, and even a liquid cooler. I'm not 100% sure if they had that before under their old name. I never saw it before, but I usually only searched under cases when I was buying for a build. Now I will say when it comes to this case and this design, it is unique and I put this on sale, I put this for sale on Facebook Marketplace and I have a buyer coming this morning. And because of its unique design and its fairly decent parts, uh, yeah, it got a lot of links. A lot of links, like inquiries. So because of this unique design, it got a lot of inquiries. So I'm not saying that I'll never use them again. What I will probably do is I will wait a few months, see how their reviews go, see how they're acting as a company and try again. And in fairness, if I go through their company again, if I choose to give them money again, which again, because of my experience, I'm 50-50. If it is a good experience, if the case shows up with the same, like I said, physical quality, no broken parts and all the pieces that I paid for, I will do a video about that as well because again, transparency. I don't know enough about the company or the people that work there to hate them specifically. I can only talk about my experience as a consumer. So that's it, I gotta get this one set up and ready to go. Thank you for watching. I hope that if you buy from them, you have a good experience and don't do what I did. Open the case immediately, even if you're not ready for it and check because they still give you a 30 day return policy through Newegg. But again, I took too long on mine, so that didn't help. But have fun building computers. Let me know if you plan on buying this one, if you have bought this one, how your build went. I'm curious, I like seeing other people's work and I'll catch y'all again soon. Thanks, bye.